Hi, my name is Grady Turner and I'm an application engineer with the Cross Company Automation Group. In this video, I'll be going over to how to make a stack and destack program using the wizard that's built into the robot. So let's open up a new program, come to the structure tab and go to wizards and select seek. Now the reason it's called seek is because the robot will seek down to find the next object. So first let's just select destacking. So we see on the screen here, we have the next position is found when, and you have a blank box. For this, you'll need some sort of input. In a real situation, it would be a force sensor or a proximity sensor mounted on the end of the robot, so when you find your next object, the input becomes true. But for this, for the demonstration, I have a little push button here that I'll be pushing every time it finds its object. So it's wired up to digital input zero. And when that goes true, the object will be found. Our item thickness, let's say 50 millimeters, or whatever your item thickness will be. Our start position, let's make right here. OK. Now direction, of course, is the direction that you want it to go for stacking or destacking. And since we're destacking, we'll want it to go down. And we want it to stop after a certain amount of distance, we'll say 500 millimeters. And our from pose and our to pose here are our limits. So from position, we'll make that the same as the starting position. And the to position will go down 500 millimeters which is the same as the limit we already set up. Okay. Our pick sequence is much like the palletizing sequence in the earlier video. We'll define what we want the robot to do at each point, either pick an object up or perform some other function or wait. We want our anchor to be our stack position, so everything will be based on that position. We'll make the stack pose here the same as our start position. And that will be updated each time the robot cycles through the program. The new stack position will be where the last object was found. We won't set an output here. We don't have one. But we want to wait for a quarter of a second just to show that it's doing something at each position. Now in this program, I'll make a D stack and then a stack. So essentially, it'll be taking away from one stack and making a new stack. This waypoint here at the bottom will need to be deleted to accomplish this. That waypoint would be used if you were picking from one location and stacking, or D stacking from a location and stacking to, or putting those objects in one position. So let's go back to our structure, add a new seek, this time select stacking. Now our start position, let's make down here. And we'll just do everything in reverse. So we'll go from this position. And our two position will be 500 millimeters up from where we are currently. So essentially, we're just making a new stack out of, a, out of a, one stack. So oh, again, I'll have to make this push button our input for when the object placement is found. So digital output zero, true. Our place sequence will make the same thing. Our stack position will be our anchor position. Let's go down to our start position to make our stack. This will be the, where the robot starts. And again, that stack position will update each time so that the robot will it'll go to the, where the last object was placed. So set this waypoint. And again, we'll wait a quarter of a second just for a visual aid that we can see this actually happening. Again, the, way, the waypoint automatically out of the bottom will need to be removed. Now run. Oh. We need to select the same item thickness. <laughs> That's what I didn't do there. So 50 millimeters. 
and we'll stop after 500 millimeters again. So let's move the robot into our starting position. Now I get my push button. So you'll see when the robot starts moving that it will seek down until I press the button and then that'll, be, that'll give the indicator that the, the object is found. I know it's probably tough to see on the camera, but it is moving down. Press the button, comes down to your other stack, places the first object, moves to the previous position and will seek down again until I press the button and this time seek down till it finds where the object needs to be placed. Again, I'll press the button. So you can kind of see it getting lower here and then higher on this side. So the program is working. You can also use this to make a pallet from a stack or vice versa. If you have a pallet and you want to stack those objects up, you can put these back to back.